Happening right now, emergency crews are on the scene of an accident near the movie theaters in Green Hills. This is on Crestmore Road. A little over an hour ago, a call came in for help after what was described as an extreme fall. We're told a man fell about 30 feet at a construction site there. Again, this is in the Green Hills area. We will keep you updated. It's the largest single jackpot in North American history. Powerball fever has millions of people trashing their losing tickets today, including me. All but one person, that is. Jerika Duncan is in Massachusetts, where all six numbers were matched. Store actually just became a part of history. For over six hours, the Powerball jackpot ticket was believed to have been sold in a Boston suburb. But this morning, Massachusetts lottery officials admitted there was a mistake a 75 mile mistake stating the winning ticket was actually sold at this pride station and store in Chicopee. This is Powerball. Last night people across the country held their breath as the numbers rolled down. Your winning Powerball number tonight is four. When the final ball popped out just one ticket matched all six numbers. The winner beat astronomical odds one and 292.2 million. Powerball officials say the more than 758 million dollar prize is the largest won by a single ticket in U.S. history. But it's not the largest prize ever. In January of 2016, a $1.6 billion Powerball jackpot was split among three winners. Well, there is a silver lining in all of this. There was a winning ticket purchased at Handy Variety, but for just $1 million, which means the owners win $10,000. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, Watertown, Massachusetts. Back here, a large cash settlement paid out to a family after the arrest of three children. A family sued following the incident in April of last year after three children at Hobgood Elementary were arrested by the Murfreesboro Police Department. This was in connection with an off-campus bullying incident captured on cell phone video. The charges against the children were all dropped. Parents sued for the way the arrests happened, including having one child handcuffed and placed in a squad car. Under the agreement, the city and county denied any liability, but the family will receive an $86,000 payout. The search continues today for a man who escaped from the Hickman County Jail. Michael McNeil escaped while doing detail work last night around the jail. The sheriff says he jumped over a wall and hasn't been seen since. McNeil is known to frequent the Lyles, Bonacqua and Fairview areas. He was last seen wearing his orange jail jumpsuit with white tennis shoes and a black and gray ball cap. Call 911 if you see him. President Trump is back in Washington after a whirlwind trip out west. Just a day after his divisive rally in Phoenix, the president delivered carefully scripted remarks before the American Legion in Reno. He called for healing and unity and signed a bill making it easier for veterans to appeal decisions on their disability claims. Meanwhile, the White House is pushing back against the rumors that the president and Senate Majority Leader are feuding. The tension reportedly began after Mr. Trump attacked Mitch McConnell for the Senate's failure to overhaul Obamacare. Both leaders issued separate statements yesterday, saying they remain united on shared priorities. It's an incredible story of survival and determination. 18-year-old Austin Bohannon spent 11 days lost in the Smoky Mountains, and he's speaking out for the first time after being rescued. I couldn't find him, uh, didn't hear any sign of him or anything like that. So uh, from that point on, I knew I was alone. Austin says he got lost on August 11th when his stepdad drifted off to find a pair of glasses he dropped. Bohannon was kept alive by his water bottle, filling it up in a creek each day. The 18-year-old credits his rescue to God, saying he drew Austin to the closest body of water. That's when the teen flagged down a boater. I signaled for him and everything else, and he came over there, and he's like, you the one you're looking for? Yes, sir, I guess so. Austin emerged from the woods on Tuesday. He says he's learned never to take his family or life for granted again. Hurricane warnings are up for a section of Texas Gulf Coast as Tropical Storm Harvey moves in. People in Corpus Christi are already sandbagging now after reports of the possibility of up to two feet of rain. The storm's maximum sustained winds are near 50 miles per hour this morning, but the U.S. National Hurricane Center says Harvey is expected to strengthen to a hurricane by tomorrow as it moves closer to the coast. Parts of Louisiana and Mississippi are also bracing for potential flooding. 
Fortunately, we should have some perfect weather here tonight as Music City lives up to its name with more great shows. Public Square Park will be rocking again for the third live on the green of the summer. On tonight's lineup, the week's Portugal, The Man and Spoon. The free concert series starts tonight at 615.